to my channel. Today's video is going to be so fun and cozy and fall-esque. Everything pumpkin spiced everything. It's gonna be so good. Okay, Sydney's joining me for this intro. Hence why I'm wearing my pumpkin spiced colored sweatshirt just to go with this video. Today I am sharing with you some pumpkin spice and pumpkin inspired recipes. Pumpkin, you like I'm using pumpkin, not pumpkin inspired whatever you know what i mean you've seen the title you saw the little preview i'm so excited i thought i would compile a couple of pumpkin recipes that i have tested out and love you guys <laughs> the pumpkin alfredo the pumpkin cinnamon rolls you already saw in my morning routine video uh so so good an easy pumpkin overnight oats so good okay i can't even say so good so many more times so if you guys like pumpkin spice everything everything pumpkin for the fall that just gives you warm and cozy vibes then give the video a thumbs up i hope you are enjoying momtober so far um and yeah let's jump into the recipes so we have some pumpkin spice overnight oats those are so good and convenient you guys honestly i didn't really think i would love them i thought they would be good but i love them and those are definitely gonna be i'm probably gonna make pumpkin spice overnight oats at least a handful of times throughout this month like at least because they're so easy but so delicious Without a pumpkin spice loaf and I had to throw in some chocolate chips you can put some frosting on it you can put some nuts in it omit the omit the chocolate chips if you'd like but in my opinion it needs the chocolate chips what again what is fall without pumpkin bread and pumpkin loaf I, I don't I don't know so I had to make one and it was it's so good I like it in the morning I like it at night I like it in the evening and at supper time what is that rice roni hamburger helper I have no idea pumpkin alfredo pumpkin fettuccine alfredo i cannot express to you pumpkin i cannot express to you how good this alfredo was i thought it might be a little weird and it has some nutmeg in it and i'm a little like eh, iffy on nutmeg i like it but i don't love it a ton i just used a little bit of the nutmeg and oh my word you guys sydney and i ate this pumpkin alfredo up and i will definitely make it again you can't really taste too much of the pumpkin it's still silky and creamy but it's not as not as rich as a normal alfredo don't get me wrong i love rich heavy alfredo but the 
this just, I don't know, pumpkin has such a mild flavor that it wasn't overpowering. It paired super, super good with all the cheeses and the cream, and it was just a really nice kind of fun take on pumpkin flavored things. Instead of a traditional sweet, I wanted to try out a savory dinner with pumpkin, and I, I, I promise you it's not gonna disappoint you. It's so good. <laughs> video I did pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls semi homemade you guys so easy just a few ingredients literally so easy I mean mine were very messy and you probably should use dental floss but I only had the mint kind so I used the knife and I squished them so they're artistic looking but that's okay they were so delicious and I just thought it was a really fun take on like pumpkin spice in the crescent rolls was an awesome idea for me because I don't have a ton of time to just to make yeast dough and let it rise and double rise and this and that. I'm sure it's not even hard. I just, I have no idea what I'm doing and I like the convenience of using the prepackaged crescent rolls. It added a really nice like buttery taste. So they were definitely really buttery, um, but my mouth is salivating thinking about them. They're sitting on my stove. I still have the couple right now. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> everything and spice and pumpkin and uh, don't worry I didn't forget about the PSL pumpkin spice latte or pumpkin spice coffee that is coming in a future video so be on the lookout for those of course I didn't forget about that I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye